those are designed. So we saw, right? Basically, you want to transfer the data from one domain to another domain. What you do is basically, rather than feeding each data into synchronizer, you transfer it using an enable. Now, in case of FIFO, what you do is you will typically have a RAM. So what I've done is I have created a simple like two deep RAM with just a flop, right? A couple of flops. So it only has this RAM has just zero and one enter to make it simple and explain the concept so you will have a ram ram will have data input coming in and data output coming out so this will work on read clock this will work on write clock so you'll have write clock and you will have enable signal that means when you want to write data to the ram and that enable again then has to be designed uh, within the ram which will come to again on the read side you will have the read pointer, basically, from where you want to read the data, and write pointer where you want to write the data. So typically, right, these five fours are considered circular, right? So what will happen is think of this way, right? So you will, these are like circular data. So let's say this is address zero, this is address one, this is address two, this is address three, this is address four, and then it will come back to zero. And you will have your read pointers and write pointers. Let's say initially they will point to zero. Then let's say you uh, write some data. Then write the, these pointers will point to the values where read pointer will point to the value where point to the address where you should be reading now from. And write pointer will be writing where you should be writing next, okay? Now, let's come back to our basic case of CDC, right? Transfer, which was happening based upon a neighbor. What you were doing was, you were transmitting a data, okay, which will take maybe one or two cycles, then enable will come here, and then you will read that data. So basically, what was happening was you were not reading the data till enable comes. Only when enable came, you read this data, right? Since what and how this was avoiding metastability was basically this synchronizer enable will take one or two cycles or two or three cycles to reach here. This will then in this enable will become one and then you will read data. So you will give this was kind of allowing you enough time for this data to become stable and being captured. So this was giving you enough time. How this enough time is given in FIFO is you basically typically will be reading and writing to different address. You will never try to read and write to the same address the, that gives you one, at least one cycle, which will be good enough for, to stabilize the data and then read it. So typically, how this is enabled is you will not be reading and writing to the same uh, address in the uh, FIFO. So let's say how FIFO works, OK? So basically, you will have write pointer, which will be pointing to the address where you want to write. You will have read pointer, which will be pointing to the address where you are trying to read. And if these are at least one or two uh, numbers separated from each other, you will have the same kind of behavior as here that you're reading on writing, not reading and writing, not from the same data. Now, let us, what do you want to do? In FIFO, you are writing data to the RAM, but you can't keep, keep writing. So you have to somehow detect that. FIFO is not full. What is the meaning of full? If is all the all the places have been filled completely. So you have to detect something known as full. If it is full, you will not write anymore. Also, you don't want to read FIFO, which is empty. There is nothing written, so you don't want to read all that also. So you, there are two important conditions to be identified in FIFO. Is one is known as FIFO full or FIFO empty. How do you identify whether FIFO is full or empty? 
okay so again i'm not going this into details at the very low code level which can be learned in our advanced course but conceptual level right so how to figure out fifo is empty or full fifo is empty when or full when read and write pointers are same why let's say initially right nothing is written then read and write pointer will be at value zero if you write something your write pointer will keep on moving and it will finally come down to the same value after it has written everything so that means fifo is full when basically it has written everything and come back to the same number and also empty when read and write pointer are same so re when read and write pointer are same which is the case initially that nothing is written then it's empty or or let's say it's full then also read and write pointers are zero the way to differentiate between whether it's empty or full is whether your right pointer has done the full circle and then came back to zero okay so if it has done the full circle and then came back to zero then it is full if it has not done the full circle that means it's empty so right basically then the way to detect full or empty is first read pointer should be equal to right pointer and second if the right pointer has done the full cycle or not okay there is a very simple way of figuring out whether the full cycle is done or not i'll tell you an example let's say your pointers are let's say only two bit okay let's say your read pointer and write pointers are two bit okay and what happens when you keep increasing a pointer value so let's say this is Two bit zero 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 one one zero one one and if you add one more it will become zero zero right so it goes here goes here goes here and it becomes zero so but this has come here after doing the full cycle if you add an additional bit let's say which you may not be using but just to check let's say what happens in that additional bit zero 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 and one right so if you have done a full cycle and if you let's say for example add an additional bit which will not an address bit but just to to do some checking whether it's full or empty if it has done a full cycle then then basically last bit will become one but if it has not done full cycle and both are sitting at zero zero which is the case here then the last bit will be zero so one technique which is used to detect FIFO is empty or full is you add an additional bit to the pointer and as pointer gets increasing and this bit differs that means it's full and if this bit does not differ that means it's empty so basically let's say n plus one -th bit is equal to n plus one -th bit of read pointer that means it's empty if it is different that means it's full so again i'm not going into a detailed designing of this uh, this is covered uh, fifo designing as in if you want to learn in verilog this is covered in our verilog course course and also if you are interested in vhdl based learning which it is covered in vhd course but here we are covering at conceptual level so basically you have to detect fifo is full or empty this is done using this uh, this method now FIFO is full or empty, you're comparing read pointer and write pointer. These two pointers you're comparing. But our read pointers and write pointers are in different domains. Read pointer is in read domain. Our write pointer is in write domain. Now, how can you compare? In order to compare, you have to bring them to the same clock domain or at least you have to basically read domain let's say you want to compare so you have to bring that to the same domain you have to transfer to the same domain 
that is transfer is done using synchronization so basically you want to figure out fifo is empty or not you will have basically right pointers synchronized the right pointers coming to synchronize in the read domain this is right pointer coming to read domain and then you will compare compare this is right now it's a simple compares it's in one bit pointer the simple comparison is just xor and then you are comparing if it is like multiple bits the comparison can be more complex so basically you have to synchronize the pointer since you are transferring this data from one domain to another domain and then do the comparison now one more com concept it is one bit only here but when these are multiple bits we had seen right when you have to transfer multiple multiple bit data especially counter you have to do gray coding otherwise the comparison may not be correct because more than one bit will change and correlation loss will happen so one more thing which is done here in fifo is for all these counters you will first gray code it and then synchronize it okay so what are the concepts which are involved in FIFO is let's revisit them. One, you will have a RAM. You will have read and write pointers. Okay. For how are these read and write pointers? You have to detect conditions like empty, full, and basically to detect this we will have an additional bit one that is one of the method which is used there are other methods also but basically you'll have to somehow figure out whether it's empty or full now to figure out empty and full you will have to compare pointers which is read and write pointers you'll have to compare but since these are from different domains you will have to synchronize this And if since these are multiple bits to synchronize, then you have to do gray coding. Okay, because more than one bit, then the correlation loss will happen and you will not lose out on the co correlation. So you have to take care of all these concepts while designing a FIFO. As I said, right, our advanced uh, concept webinar, uh, which is uh, I sent to link to all of you already, covers this uh, or how to design actually a FIFO.